haven't felt this angry in a while. Just the confidence on it. She's gonna ignore how sexually violated animals are in the billions? Really? Alright, let's go. Actually, you're not really vegan. You are someone who simply eats plants. We call that a plant-based person. A real vegan is somebody who defends animals all the time. <laughs> no. Before I get started, I'm just gonna Do you see why I'm like getting annoyed already? Because his level of condescension is just far surpassing my own. And mine's bad. No. Before I get started, I'm just gonna say I don't have any issues with veganism. Oh, don't you're you? Doing it for nutrition reasons, don't you? moral reasons, environmental reasons, whatever. As far as I can tell, there is no- It's so funny that he's talking about, um, when she's talking about, oh, you know, what's plant-based and everything, he goes, <laughs> no. But then he turns around and says, I have no problem with veganism if you do it for health reasons. Then you have no idea what veganism is, do you? So why are you gonna look at her with condescension and just be like, <laughs> no. When you don't have a clue either. He's, yeah, he's sending me within seconds. I just, I don't know, it's something, there's something about him. I, I can't even explain it. No societal understanding that says that in order to be a vegan, not only do you not have to eat or use animals or animal byproducts, but you also have to be an animal rights activist or actively try to convert people to veganism. And like I said before, I don't have any issue with vegans in general, but I think that the unnecessary gatekeeping that she's doing not only in this video, but many of her other videos is doing more harm to her cause than it is good. She's also- Yeah, classic, classic, right? Classic uh, demonstration of saying, oh, I think I think doing more harm than good, but there's no real like evidence to, to say. like. If you are so concerned with how she talks about the plight of animals being wrong, do it in your own way. Cause is he vegan? Does anyone know him from TikTok? God, he responds to that vegan teacher a lot. Oh my God, his eye rolling is unimaginable. I'm assuming he's like not vegan. He used her platform around veganism to tell people to change religions. And honestly, that's just messed up. There are so many- Sorry, but if a religion does something that's violent <laughs> and you just sing a song and go, Oh, if your religion's violent, maybe think about changing it. <laughs> and he's getting so, like, messed up about it. It's amazing. Any videos of hers that I want to respond to, so stay tuned. Oh, I will. I will, my dude. I'll stay really tuned. Dear John, thank you so much for mansplaining to us female animal rights act. <laughs> the vegan society's former definition is veganism is a way of living which seeks to exclude as far as possible practical all forms of exploitation and cruelty to animals, food, clothing, and other purposes. Yeah. What the definition of veganism is? Coming from a carnist like you, golly gee, that sure means a lot. Oh, so he is a carnist, is he? Definition differently than you did. We see the vegan society definition as encouraging us to speak out for the victims at all times. We also happen, by the way, to speak out on the rights of all minorities the LGBTQ plus community, and against all racism, among tons of other things. So, I invite you to think about the female cows who are raped, and their baby boys taken away and murdered, and their baby girls put back into the cycle of violence just so you can have some milk in your coffee. Why not be better? Be vegan. <laughs> okay, let's talk about it. First of all, me educating my followers about what the actual definition of veganism is, is not mansplaining to female animal rights activists. And you can use the vegan society- <laughs> Like, I don't use the term mansplaining, but if I were to use mansplaining, it would- the face of mansplaining would look like that, by the way. Me educating my followers about what the actual definition of veganism is, is not mansplaining to female animal rights activists. Oh, no, no, and you okay. can use the vegan society's definition of veganism to include philosophy, lifestyle, activism, all you want. That's your choice. But simply speaking, there's lots of ways to be vegan. And until society in general decides to- Which one are you? I want to know. <laughs> to include those pieces into the definition of veganism, I'm not going to either. And one last thing. You used graphic imagery to describe how I get the milk to put in my coffee, but I don't drink coffee anymore. And when I did, I drank it black. Yeah, but do you, do you drink dairy? <laughs> like, he's like, oh, 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 actually, I don't have milk in my coffee. Do you drink dairy, though? Do you drink dairy? Like, that's the point. She's just using a classic thing that people have used all of the time that involves a dairy product. <laughs> actually, <laughs> I don't have milk in my coffee <laughs> like when i did it was black <laughs> peace out ah uh, yes here come the carnist feminists ready to defend the men as they pile on i can't mark out if he thinks of all the other females in the system 
cows, pigs, chickens. You don't give a shit about them, do you? You're also wrong about the definition of mansplaining. Here it is according to Wikipedia. And you can look at all of these nice stickers from PETA while I read it. Mansplaining is a pejorative term meaning to comment on or explain something to a woman in a condescending, overconfident, and often inaccurate or oversimplified manner. Author Rebecca Solnit described the phenomenon to a combination of overconfidence and cluelessness, which is exactly what John had. He didn't know the definition, and he's just, like all of you, terrified of veganism and unwilling to change your own habits while pretending you care about the minorities. Be better. Be vegan. Okay, maybe I wasn't accurate. Let's go to the dictionary definition of vegan. A strict vegetarian who consumes no food that comes from animals. Also one who abstains from using animal products. Hmm, seems like you were the only person being inaccurate. Bye. If you go to the official vegan society- Oh! Oh, I think it's the, it's the mansplaining. That's what it is. Okay, I was like, I don't know what it is, right? But I don't use the term mansplaining, okay? I don't. But actually, I think I might fully adopt it because of you, Jerobi. Oof! Oh! Ugh. Oh god, I'm getting sick. That's what it is. I was like, what is it? What is it about him? Is it is that? Ugh. Right, let's carry on. All right, because <laughs> we're getting to the juicy bits, okay? Oh, it gets juicy. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day, okay? Here's some juice. Dear John, this is your trigger warning. This video will contain discussions about consent and sexual assault. The way you talk about and describe consent. Now let's examine it. They cannot consent. That is sexual assault. You are absolutely... Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how this plays out, shall we? Exactly right. The bulls do not consent to be masturbated and have their sperm taken from them. The cows do not consent to have this sperm. Did you see that? That come up on screen? What? Into them. You know, I typically ignore when people do crap like this, but the videos I make are the words that I say. But I will not ignore it this time. No. I have you made shouldn't. so many videos educating my followers about why consent is so important. And for you to make a mockery of consent by comparing how we as humans interact with each other in a safe and productive way to breeding animals is sh- mm -hmm. I'll just let him talk, but <laughs> we're gonna get around to this. Shameful. And posting videos like that just makes it so much harder for us to talk about consent and have people take it seriously. I'm so sorry that you do not care about animals enough to acknowledge when they're sexually violated. Hang on a second. Just one second, Jeroby, okay? Hold on a second, yeah? Orangutan forced to work as a sex slave. Sorry, did... <sighs> did Daily Mail get this wrong? Hmm? Are they not actually sex slaves? Hmm? Are they being insensitive and making a mockery out of people who are sexually violated, are they? I'm sorry, does this make a mockery of it? I'm sorry that you don't give a shit about animals enough to consider them when they're being sexually violated, but I'm sorry, that's kind of your problem? Why do you think things like that happen in the first place to human beings. It's because self-entitled people believe for a second that they have any sort of ownership over the autonomy of somebody else. It's a disgusting, toxic mindset, and it's people like you who perpetuate it. I talk so much about consent. Think about it more. Try again. Sorry. <laughs> I think you'll find that's an orangutan. Good luck finding the relevant difference between an orangutan and a cow that justifies sexually violating them. Good luck! I couldn't find it. I'm sorry that you don't value animals enough to give a shit about them when they're sexually violated. They have genitalia, they have sentience, they have their own bodies, and people like you pay for people to violate them. And that's our problem? Ah! I'm flabbergasted. Oh, mansplainers. You're making a mockery out of the victims. Um, I'm sorry you don't give a f about animals enough to consider them, right? I'm sorry. Any animal can be sexually violated. Do you- <clears throat> Are you against bestiality or you don't give a sh about it? Huh? Think harder. Ugh, I'm so sorry I'm getting mad, but I can't think about it, right? Why do we violate animals in this way? Because we think we're entitled to. That's a really dangerous mindset, thinking that we, we should have autonomy over somebody else. That's not okay. You don't touch them. You leave them. They're not yours. Their bodies are theirs. That sort of rhetoric, if that were held consistent, would probably mean that people would respect others more. So you'd be someone who doesn't think, oh, I somehow can just do what I want to someone else. That's not an okay mindset to have, but it's absolutely 
<laughs> rampant in so many of our you know societal behaviors that constantly are telling us by the way it's okay to take from others just take 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 there's no consequence just keep taking it's fine they're yours they're yours no they're theirs theirs alone leave them alone you need to apologize to every adult and child whose experience with sexual assault you just compared to breeding animals and think before you speak this is <sighs> oh my god the irony of you telling anyone to think before they speak. The absolute irony. So, uh, so uh, think, uh, oh my God, think before you write again. Don't, don't call orangutans sex slaves. Don't, do, oh, they, they were in a brothel. Yeah, they, no, 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 don't. What do you call it when you penetrate an animal, right? Because you can't get consent. So without their consent, you penetrate them in their sexual organs, what do you call that? Oh my god. I have a headache. I actually have a headache. Well done. You've just mansplained your way through my brain. Oh my god. This is your trigger warning. This video will contain discussions about consent and sexual assault. Except, like your you trigger warning them. is complete bullshit. Unless you give your audience a full 10 seconds to think about what you just said and swipe you away before you bombard them with information that's going to hurt them. It's completely useless. I would be like me saying, catch, and I throw this ball at you before giving you a chance to put up your hands. You understand? I know it's hard for you to be quiet, John. But next time you give a trigger warning, wait a full 10 seconds before you speak. This is your trigger warning. This video will contain discussions about consent and sexual assault. Count to 10, John, and consider this to be a trigger warning for you. Because if you think that consent applies to humans and not animals, you need to come back to ethics class. Watch Earthlings, Dominion Movement, and Cowspiracy before you respond to this video. Be better. Be vegan. You know, I am actually impressed. You managed to make people think that your analogies are even stupider than they did before. But I'm glad you're taking such an interest in trigger warnings considering you didn't put one on your video. And you made another video saying that I don't understand what consent is. But here's the deal. When you bastardize the term consent to include animals that are being bred, you diminish the experiences of so many survivors of sexual assault and violence. Do you? So you wouldn't call an orangutan a sex slave if they were forced into a brothel? That's your problem, not mine, Jerobe. So perhaps it's time for you to stop being the teacher and for you to be the student. See you on the flip side. <laughs> Sorry, are you going to teach us something? Are you going to mansplain again, Jerobe? Insufferable. I, I, I can't. Like, I actually can't. You're going to tell us about consent, are you, Jerobe? When you can't even understand that if a being cannot consent, that they... You... I do... It's beyond me. Time for you to be the student. Or not. I don't really care. You're gonna be I, no, I know you don't. That's the problem. You don't give a shit. But you're going to pretend to, aren't you? That's the problem, Jerobi. It's a massive problem we're having. You just want to keep talk, talk, talking. Not think, think, think. Maybe do some of that. Crap. Think before you speak. Someone married that way? He's married? See, there's hope for everybody, okay? Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> I haven't felt this angry in a while. Just the confidence on it. She's gonna ignore how sexually violated animals are in the billions? Really? Actually, you're making a mockery out of the victim. Really? You really? Are you really? Think about it. No. With your rhetoric, right? It's fine to take, take, take from others. All right. As long as we assign a trait and arbitrarily assign it and use it and then say, oh, that's that's fine. Now we now we can do it. No. Just walk from a church into another building, or from a mosque into another building. So depending on how long you've been following me, you may or may not know that I'm actually a very religious person. And this isn't the first video that she's talked about this subject where she said, change your religion. Why not be an atheist? Oh, that's why he's Sunday? angry about it. And let me first say, what she's doing is completely irresponsible. Oh, and completely ignorant. Don't forget that part. Because mm, mm, uh, that should be the word of today, I think, Jorobi. Ignorant, painfully. Because anybody who even knows the slightest bit about religion knows that it's not determined by what building you go to on your day of worship. It's determined by what you believe. Quite honestly, I would say the things she said about religion- Do you really think that she's just saying, like, come on? He's <laughs> like, it's just like such a cocky nitpicker. And then he's so wrong about the things he actually nitpicks about half the time. It's amazing. Religion are embarrassingly stupid if I didn't think they were also dangerous. Because some young viewers without understanding- Sorry, so- <laughs> You think her saying, 
oh, just walk into another building, you know, leave it, you know, then you think that's dangerous, but acknowledging that animals, like, can be sexually violated and they can be used, like, victims in that way, for you, you're saying that, oh, that, that, that mocks the victims, like, you just don't see the problem in that? I, you find this dangerous, but you don't find that dangerous? Like, that's interesting. It really is. In any historical context of religion may look up and find animal sacrifices and now think that their religion advocates for hurting animals and that they need to come. So vegan teacher, stop talking about religion because you clearly know nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, right, okay. Religion is based on fairy tales, books that were written hundreds and thousands of years ago. They're not based on science. They have all kinds of crazy things in them. So there's a lot of things that she said that were deeply offensive to religious people, including myself. So let's get started. There's about 10,000 different religions in this world coming from all different types of backgrounds. And for you to say that religion itself is based on fairy tales is just intellectually dishonest. And the young impressionable viewers that are seeing that still probably aren't going to become vegan. All you're doing is creating confusion and casting doubt on what is for some of these viewers one of the most important aspects of their lives. And you brought up the commandment, thou shalt not- I'm sorry, but where's- you got some, like, evidence? <laughs> really? We won't get into, uh, to theism. Okay, that's a different discussion. to promote veganism. So I'm just and gonna- And I'm very excited um, to educate you- I'm just gonna avoid these ones. About how you were misinterpreting the original Hebrew and ignoring all historical context. Just gonna educate But you. I don't have time for that in this video. No. So it'll have to wait. No, he's- but he's too busy, like, condescending to, uh, have time. <laughs> but I'm actually a very religious person. Yes, God. Yes, I told you a million times. I'll sing it for him. Yes, on TikTok. Okay, bye. I'm actually a very religious person. <laughs> I'm the best. You got one straight to hell. God said so, and he should know. He said you're mean. Because you'd rather pay for someone to kill a baby cow than to eat some tofu and a bean. I'm actually a very religious person. John Robert Bell, you're going straight to hell. God said so, and he should know. He said you're a big old bully, yo, cause you'd rather pay for the violation, enslavement, and murder of innocent females instead of buying some lentils and a potato. What she's doing is completely irresponsible. But John Robert Bell, you can still see the light. Watch Earthlings.com, and you can become vegan too. You know, vegan teacher, I would like to thank you for proving to all of us once and for all that you are not interested at all about converting other people to veganism. You are only interested in shaming those who aren't. That time that you spent writing a song about how I'm going to hell for eating meat could have been spent actually educating others about your cause. But instead, you knew- You don't care about it. You don't give a shit. You don't even think animals can be sexually violated. <laughs> that time that you spent talking to me, you could have advocated. If you cared, spend some time advocating in the way you like.